Hello, my most amazing artist. Um, this week we're doing something a little bit different because there is a opp opportunity to be in a virtual art show for you guys. Um, so your lesson this week isn't very structured. It's very open to basically anything you want it to be as long as you are creating something that represents um, how you're feeling during this whole COVID um, pandemic, staying at home, being quarantined. So anything that can represent your feelings during all of that, you can use any materials that you would like. Um, if you don't have paint, you can use just pencil and paper. That's okay. If you don't have paper, be creative. Think about what you can use instead of paper, cardboard, um, just anything you can think of. An egg, you can use a marker on an eggshell, like anything you can think of. Um, sculpture, if you have Legos, Play-Doh, if you are able to make clay, but anything that represents your feelings and your emotions through this whole time. The, there is a PowerPoint that I put on Schoology for you guys to kind of give you a little bit more detail, but the whole idea is that we can heal through art. So whatever you can come up with, be creative, sit and think about it for a little while. This project is due by Wednesday. I have to submit your artwork by Wednesday. So if you see this after Wednesday, that's okay. You can still do it. Um, but to be involved in the art show, I have to submit by Wednesday. I'm going to show you my example, but I don't want you guys um, to really use my example as um, something like you would do. I want you to try to think of something completely different. This is just what I thought of, and I kind of made it just to show you guys something that could be an example. Um, it says, let's heal through art. And it's a ribbon. And I taught you guys about drawing a mason jar and using that to keep like the negative thoughts. So down here, I wrote some negative things, anger, negative vibes. That's what I wrote. And then coming out of the jar, I wrote positivity and love. Um, and then I drew a hand. It's up to you, whatever you guys would like to do. If you have any questions or need some ideas, definitely reach out to me. And I'm here to help with whatever you need. I love you guys. I miss you guys. Keep staying creative and keep staying positive. Again, if you have any questions, because I know it's so open, you could just be a little lost. Make sure you guys reach out.